Overshoot this. I think I got this. Okay, I'm gonna go for it, Dave. Ready? I'm outside. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, yeah. Right on. Come on. Out, 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 out. Yeah. That was awesome. Colors of these aspen, hey? Oh, they're just stunning. And the smell. Yeah, that fresh spring smell. Yeah. It's just so nice. It's that smell of those uh, aspen bud coats, those stickies. Yes. Just has a, such a distinct smell. I feel like any time now we should see or hear a sandhill crane. Yeah. You know? Probably in that swale over there, yeah. like uh, landowner was just saying. Oh wow, that is a really gorgeous tree. What an epic tree. Yeah, isn't that cool? Love to know how old that one is. Couple hundred. Yep. So a lot of uh, trout streams in central Alberta are really winding, deep, slow, meandering, and tannic. Uh, the headwaters usually are kind of through mossy, sprucey, kind of peat, sphagnum uh, muskeg. And every year is the same thing. It goes through the annual snow melt. The, the, the muskegs recharge with water, and the tannins in the muskegs, you know, obviously they release and keeps the streams pretty much a tannic color all year round but it, it, it can really clear up to kind of a light 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 rust um, by middle of summer but right now as you can tell that's that's a little bit brown as you'd say but you can definitely spot the fish just uh, kind of upstream over Amelia's shoulder just in the edge of that shadow line and that's the charm of this stuff um, these streams, most of them flow through uh, farmland with uh, kind of about a 10 meter uh, buffer between the farmland and the creek through uh, uh, an old time fencing program through Buck for Wildlife, which morphed into the Alberta Conservation Association. And they pretty much maintain land ownership uh, relationships and maintain the fence lines. So we're here and inside those fence lines, usually, you know, spur X spruce trees and those give shade and that's exactly the kind of thing and really nice fish upstream of Amelia there just rose but that's exactly where these fish are going to be rising if they're going to rise today uh, that those spruce pine and aspen offer some just fantastic shade and uh, if you're going to find caddis poplin or a light pmd hatch or olive hatch that's exactly where you're going to find those fish popping so we're gonna we're gonna wait for this fish to rise again and see if we can't lay out a line i haven't been here for a couple few years so i'm i'm pretty geeked up so i might i might just pop you know <laughs> pop a gasket here before i actually hook up so yeah this is spent a lot of time on this creek a lot of time on this creek for the last 30 years and a couple years off uh yeah i'm, I'm looking forward to this Look at that fish, oh, eh? That's just gorgeous. Oh man, right in the middle of the. You could just see his dark shadow. Shadow. When he kind of dropped yeah. into the sun. Do you mind if I took that one? Oh, just to get, do. you know, no, no. just do. to get ADD Dave out of the way here. Absolutely. Win, lose, or draw. That's a gorgeous fish to start. And yeah, we just drove up um, three and a half hours from home, back to an old favorite creek in central Alberta. Oh, another rise just on the inside of the bend here. And awesome. Yeah, we, we timed this. It's funny because uh, my last day ever guiding was four years ago on May 31st. And the caddis were just going on that day. And here we are, Mar uh, May 31st, four years later. And it, the, the weather's changed and the sun's out. 
And guess what? The caddis are out on the water and the fish on this bend. I yes. say that because the next the next six hours could be but on this bend it's it's pretty cool. So we're gonna set up and Amelia's giving way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping. Go I, for yeah. It, man. And I'm basically I'm I, I, I was already at the van. I just tied on a nine foot two X leader and a tippet ring. Uh, two feet 3x, two feet 4x, 13 feet total, uh, down to a size 12 um, caddis, elk hair caddis. We call it a medium sedge, but it's just an elk hair caddis. So that's what I got, and I'm going to sneak around through the bush behind Amelia there, and I'm just going to sneak around, and I'm going to end up coming at it from down below here, and we're going to focus on that fish there, and we're going to set up the camera and see what we can do. There's uh, two or three fish here, hey? Always been a good corner. Really nice straightaway, hits that wall. I know there's gotta be a big fish tucked into this, this spruce here, but haven't seen anything rise, so never know. A lot of caddis, heaps of caddis. A little further over for that other fish. Oh, he refused. Just kind of circle around on it. No, yeah, he just he flat out refused it. Yeah. That should feed it. Nice. There we go. Awesome, Dave. Okay, I'm gonna crank it this way. That's a nice fish, Mills. That's just awesome. Really nice fish. Come on, buddy. Out you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah. Low side, low side, low side. It's a really nice fish. <laughs> Drop the net. Oh no. Can you see it? I think so. Uh -oh. <laughs> I hope so. Circle, circle. This is where I'd love to have a net. Come on. Got him. Little tail job there. It's a gorgeous fish. Seriously gorgeous fish. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay here. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at those colors, eh? That's awesome. Gorgeous. <laughs> Stunner, eh? Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Yeah, so there's really big fish rising just on the other side of that spruce tree right there. So I gotta find my net and then we'll have a go at that. Okay, so from my rod tip, a rod length away from that, just across that spruce. And if I go upstream and hook, hook that cast around, my fly will go in there. It's going to be a one-shot wonder, so I'd have to be pretty damn good. And then if I hook up, I already know what's going to happen. I'm going to be in for a, you know, flexorama of everything. So I'm just going to check my, my knots and my tippet. I can see him plain as day right through that. He's going to go up. Yep, he just rose. Nice. So I'm just going to check all this. All right, I just landed that fish. That's on four, that's on three, and that's the tippet ring. So this guy is, he's sitting over there. He's tight. Um, jeepers. Let's 
just see if I can get in a little tighter to this fish. The, the, the goal here is I just caught the one fish. I know there's another fish there. That's number two. That's number three up there. I've landed the one. I'm trying to catch this one. And then hopefully I'll be able to pull him back. Yeah, he's right over there. I can see him. He should rise on that. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Oh. Okay, so that's a case where I was already fighting the fish and pulling it out <laughs> before I had the hookup. So. Like a downstream take? No. Oh. No, no, no. Oh. I was already trying to catch this fish before I landed that fish. Uh, gotcha. That's what happened there. I was looking ahead. Okay. Because I wanted to, I wanted to stick and pull uh, and make sure this guy came this way. Yeah, I see what you mean. And by doing that, I probably rushed the hooks at a touch. Gotcha. And I don't know, I'm going to give it a hundred count and see if he comes back. I doubt it, but stranger things are happening. Yeah, I don't see this guy. So I'm just going to walk up kind of the middle mm -hmm. like that. Hope for the best. I'm trying to stay focused on my fly, but it's really, really hard when I'm looking, 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 you know? There he is. That's the one. Maybe. Yeah, or two. That's crazy, hey? Pause, up, pause, down, place. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. Good call, love. Okay, here we go. Just go gonna, go right go there. Yeah. Wicked. <laughs> yes. So as soon as he rises, I'll go. Okay. Not that one, obviously. No. He arrives in here. Not that one. <laughs> no. Waiting specifically for this one. I know. There's two rises there. I I gotta be systematic about it. So Oh, no doubt, eh? Okay. There he is. There he is. That's the one. Maybe. Might have been a foot to your left. Yeah, or two. Yeah. That's crazy, eh? Hey? Yeah. Pause, up, pause, down, place. Ah, come on. Nice, babe. Hell yeah. Oh no way, no. the downstream take and everything. He came around like that on it and I was like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. So that is exactly why I don't use other people's flies. Um, the hook bent out on that one. And I just, you know, fishing with people through the years and store-bought flies and you don't know where they fought their flies. And that that hook was just like that at the end of it. And it was like, uh, blah, blah, blah. and I like the fly, how, you know, the, the stiff material and the color. So that's why I grabbed it. But I despise using other people's flies that they give me or, you know, store-bought flies where I don't know where they've come from. And that's, well, that's why I tie flies on my, you know, on the hooks I use. Uh, I, 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 I don't know how that fly. I'm so bummed Yeah. I don't know how that fly made it through, but but I'm just going to keep, just protect the edge of the zone though. Hey. Oh yeah, he smoked that, eh? Just protect the edge. That's that same fish that I missed on the downstream take. As soon as I gave that fly a twitch, he was on it. Absolutely on it. Did you see that? As soon as I skittered twitched that, I just went, tightened up on the, on the bowing arc of that drift, and I just went twitch, and he just absolutely smoked it. Nice. Gorgeous light, hey? Out here, up here, fold, fold, merry-go-round, merry-go-round. Okay, get his head up on the water, in the net. <laughs> Man, he just crushed that. Hey guys, so super stoked right now. We found a fish that's feeding like literally inches right off the bank here. I'm just gonna show you. He's just upstream here um, of Dave, maybe a rod and a half. And he's been popping just right off that shore. 
And my plan is to get above Dave by, you know, a couple feet really. And you can see those uh, spruce um, sticks hanging down. And I'm going to try to get my rod through there and just do a bow and arrow cast to this fish. It's the only way to go at it. Um, in the river right off to Dave's left is really deep. And um, yeah, could be shoulder deep on us actually. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna probably have to go up this bank. So that's my only shot at this fish, but it's so exciting how tight it is to the bank. And yeah, I'm just gonna have a go with the old B and A. See his tail. Beautiful. Okay. I gotta gauge how far to put this too. Oh, he's right tight, eh? He is. You see him? Nope. That's the top fish. Yeah. Haven't seen his tail. I'd like to see another rise, maybe. You know? Oh, there he was. Yeah. I will. I don't want to sh overshoot this. I think I got this. Okay, I'm going to go for it, Dave. Yeah. Ready? I'm outside, here he comes, here he comes. Oh yeah, right on. Come on, out, 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 out. Yeah, 
that was awesome. Try to bring him down. Yeah. Save that next fish up. Yeah, there. I am. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Good job. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> that wow. was epic. That was awesome. I wasn't didn't lead him quite enough, but he was coming for it. Me. He was coming for it. Yeah. That's just awesome. How big is he after all? I thought he was like uh, one one. Yeah, I'm thinking seven. Well, yeah, 17, 18, somewhere in there, I think. Exactly. Just stunning. Oh, wow. That was awesome. <laughs> I'm actually nervous for you. I know, so am I. Problem is, I want to get it up, but he's going to just dog me in this deep stuff. Got a few of them. That's good. Yeah, it's not a huge fish, but it's a really nice fish. Like, yeah. what a moment. What a spot. Oh, hey? yeah. That, that that was phenomenal, actually. I can't believe you actually got it out of there. That was awesome. All these years, I'd say the last 20, 25 years, this spruce tree has given me fits for the branches underneath. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Don't do that, buddy. Don't do that. Don't do that. And you'd think okay. just once I'd break them all off, but oh, I yeah. never, I've never bothered because it's no, always been a challenge. No, that's just it. You, want it. you don't want to yeah. You don't want to manage it manufacture your spots. No, right? Then come on up. It's just chunky, that's all. <laughs> There we go. Up, 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 up. No. Come on. I can hear that tippet in the guides right now. It's like, come on. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And then in the net. Yeah. Hey, that's sweet. Yeah. Woo. I'm getting soaked now. Thank you. On its side. Look at those spots, eh? Okay, down up and just go right there. There we go. Mm. Nice. Love that. Um, ended up just getting that caddis probably about 18 inches to its left. And that fish was just feeding so hard. It was going to come and take. And uh, yeah, so fun being that close. And uh, I guess I got kind of a bit lucky um, on, on actually keeping him on because there's a lot of sticks you could see just hanging down. And I kind of had to dodge the rod, you know, right, left, and then eventually just you know, pulled him out and fought him downstream. So we have got a fish rising up here. He's, again, just above the spruce and kind of in the sticks along the bank there, closer to that bank. I'm gonna take a couple casts as I come up this. There he goes, yeah. Okay, you tell me when you're ready. Are you? Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, what happened? One of those toilet bowls again. I know, I'm seeing that because this one grows. I'm going to try to go for the lower one. That should do it. Oh, yeah. Nice. I don't think again that big. I couldn't scale, couldn't really judge the size, but not that big. No, it's not. That's cool. Yep. I actually think that top fish was better. Yeah. Not by lots, but better. Yeah. Right on. Beautiful fish though. Just beautiful. Okay, awesome. Down up and away she goes. Sweet. That's awesome. Dave just is upstream of me trying to get some uh, tight shots of this fish that we were seeing consistently rise. Has he risen again, Dave? Okay, good. He's got a good view of him from upstream and just trying to get into a position to get a, uh, some good shots with the, our long, long lens. So
So we've just seen this fish rise again. Um, and Dave's going to let me know when he's actually got a good view of where he is. How tight to shore are we talking? Okay. I did not see that break surface because from where I'm standing in the river right now, I really don't have a good... Well, kind of at this angle. Okay. The flat mud. Yeah, like there, well, there's one. Do you see where I'm pointing? Yeah. There's that little one, and then there's a larger, longer one that's yeah. about five feet long in front of it. Yeah, the top one. Okay, the top one. Okay, the point being the upstream side of it. Okay. Yeah, wait, there's about there, there, right there. Close. Did you see that? Yeah. yeah. I did see the rise. So you tell me. You think you're good? Right in there. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. That's exactly where I wanted to put it. I hope that was good for you. Right on, man. Yep. It's pretty neat in fly fishing when, you know, you you have a spot, you know, a fish has risen, you have a spot where you want to uh, pick off the fish and yeah, and you just place it there. It was really gorgeous, absolutely. Okay, come on, keep your head up, keep your head up. Come on, up, 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 up. It's funny how sometimes these chunky ones still, uh, still will dog you for quite some time. Up, 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 and surf and in the net. Yeah. Ah, nice fish. Really pretty. Gorgeous, love. Beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Loved every bit of that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Look at those spots. Just a stunning little brown trout. Just beautiful. Just let them go when you're ready here. Just let it spin forward. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. And off he goes. Right. Really nice. Pretty male. Was it? I think so. I didn't even look, sorry. Yeah, it looked to me to be a male, I think. Really nice fish. Gorgeous. <laughs> I guess it's your turn, hey? <laughs> We've got three fish of over 12, maybe 15, 16 inches here. And the one that we're targeting just kind of started popping over in the sunspot over there. And that's kind of the one that Amelia is all geeked up about on the camera. The biggest one is at the head over here, but you can see that guy's tail in the sun over there. So, um, oh yeah, oh, yeah there's nice. a couple of nice fish over there, hey? Yeah, really Seems there, that's there. so oh, that's gorgeous. gorgeous. Were you anywhere near that? I yeah, I figured. <laughs> God, that's gorgeous, hey? Beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's tails right in there, hey? It is. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move into place here because I yep, have a pretty good idea of where it is, and it seems to be dropping and out, hey? Yeah. And. So is this done a merger? Yeah. These are these fish are popping. Okay, so it's that little V of of sunlight in there, hey? Okay, so you tell me which one I'm going for. Okay, I'll just do that then. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. That one? That's, oh, damn it, I was trying to horse it to go after the other ones. Yeah. No, I was trying to make sure I didn't disrupt the pod. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, that broke at the tippet ring, I think. Or not. Nope, just let the fly. That's fine, I got another one right in front of me. That's why I was trying to protect the big one at the top. Yeah.
this one we're on the same page i'm just gonna wait for that one to rise again i think the bigger one is up on the left that one yeah, Go for it. yeah okay here we go I'll try okay. oh right in here stay on it to the right yeah sorry okay go again. go again here we go i was just cast a little too far to the right a bit wow didn't want the big caddis might have just moved up too eh? here's a caddis coming down there's yeah that okay so the middle one outside of being picky you want the middle one. Oh, top one middle one <laughs> god my caddis was probably too big that's too far you want me to go for it okay right down the middle of those two there we go i'm right there in between them yeah i got him oh you kidding sorry about that he just absolutely smoked the he just drift 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 <laughs> don't worry about it just stay in and stay low because we gotta go for the next one i'm trying to keep this thing back downstream so those other two can keep rising eh come on bud last year no no it's not huge that's for sure okay yeah, and I'll just do that. Well, that was a nice fish, actually. Absolutely. Again, barely hooked, though. It's three fish I've landed. They've all just been kind of... Mm -hmm. Got that beautiful... They're, they're just kind of shifting and shifting kind of all together. So anyway, what I've got here, uh, about a 13-foot leader down to 4X, to just a standard size 14 elk hair caddis. And then what's that? They're about 9, 10 inches down to a this is terrible on this camera of course but a little size uh, another size 14 2x shank though or a size 16 2x shank uh, polywing caddis same concept as a uh, elk hair caddis just with a polypropylene wing and um, not getting them to absolutely hammer the elk hair caddis and I think we're gonna have to get in there and just lay a little subtle pattern in there and that's what we're focused on right now and there's I don't know there's got there's still got to be two or three fish popping occasionally sporadically through here and we're just going to wait Amelia's having a grand old time now you want that one like well, there's got to be a fish below that right yeah yeah that's further away or is it yeah okay no no the big one moved up that's what's going on Best looking bug too. Oh geez. Which which one of those? I don't know. How about the top one? one? Yeah. Yeah. How yeah. Okay, let's get on the same page here. It's really tough otherwise. Is he gonna smoke that water strider? How about that one? Yeah. You ready? Here we go. Just on the inside of it. There we go. Yeah, that's that polywing cat eh? It's on 5x. I'm trying to get this guy out of here so I don't want him just to drop that top fish, but. Come on, buddy. Turn, 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 turn. Hold right there. Hold right there. No. No. Hold right there. Hold right there. <laughs> and stick. Just a bunch of things I want him to do. Because, you know, because it's like a trained elephant, you know? Yeah, you know, it's a nice fish. It's actually a really nice fish mouse. Yeah, you know, not not huge, but yeah, just stay low and it's on that small fly hay on 5X, so.
Okay, so the very first thing is that somebody watching this uh, this this whole sequence, the very first fish, I I broke it off. Okay, that's just the truth. But the reason I broke it off is because I didn't want it ripping up. Once hooked, I didn't want it ripping through the other th fish that were there. I think in total we had four fish, and the first one I broke off just to keep it back. And I said on I think, I think I said it on video, hey, I just wanted to horse it to try to keep it out of there. And the reason for that. Okay, the second one that I, I hooked and I landed, no problem. Um, folded the rod downstream, downstream, brought it down right, and it didn't go and do anything, and that was cool. And we still had two more fish rising above us. And then came fish number, what, three or four, whatever the heck. Yeah. And that was the one, that was exactly what I was trying to avoid doing, because this fish that I just landed, smoosh, and went all over the place in there. And now guess what? Ain't nobody else rising so that's why on the very very first one i was trying to keep that guy um from ripping around in there because you know i'd rather break one off and catch two others than to land the first one and that was it so just a little subtle choice that you got to make sometimes and that's why i did that <laughs> okay so I started off in that pot of fish with a uh, size uh, 12 uh, elk hair cat. It's kind of a sedge kind of thing. And really, um, yeah, I got the first fish to come and smoke it. And then I flipped my cast in there a few times. And, and, and that's the reason I use that long leader, that 14, 15 foot leader in here, is just so I can lay out a cast and my, my fly line is never even a question as to whether that's landing anywhere near these fish on this flat water. So I was able to get that first fish, and but after that, no, no takes. I think I had about maybe eight or 10 casts at the other three fish that were popping. Mm, nope. So I went then to a size 14 Elicara caddis and didn't get the top two but the last one after i was through the drift that amelia was targeting with the camera the fish just came and it came downstream okay great after that those top two fish were just not going to eat the 14 size 14 elk air caddis so i had to go with a smaller size 16 uh poly wing caddis kind of a lower profile lower riding um caddis just in the surface film kind of like a, a stationary spent caddis and you can just see you know you can just tell that if you're not getting the action i mean you're putting the fly right in the heart of grand central caddis station and they're not taking it well guess what you you have to change something and that was exactly it with that last fish it was just waiting for that subtle pattern and it just came up sucked in and and you just did the toilet bowl flush well that's it for the rest of the risers in this water but that's the sequence of things, and that's pretty cool. So we're gonna go up around the corner. Uh, there's a classic log jam, but um, this creek last year, if you see the banks behind me up here, the, about another rod length high above that rod tip up there, um, about another rod length above that yet is how high the water was last year. So we're talking a good 16 vertical feet above where we are, and you know, that's a... Just that's a lot of water that pushed through here last year and so what i'm trying to say is i'm not sure if my favorite old log jam with the big fish are going to be there but it's going to be if there's anything there you know it, it's been good for the last 30 years if nothing else there will be a trough around the corner with a fish in it No kidding, hey? Yeah, no kidding. It's not a bad fish, you know. Probably a chunker, you know? 14-inch yeah. chunker or maybe bigger. Might be. Oh, 16. There we go. Beauty. Nice. Awesome. awesome, Dave. Yeah, I just I knew he was there, so. Any time there. Ready? Yeah, go for it. Here we go. 
Wicked. Gorgeous. So the, the end of May, and it was, you know, a bit of rain, but a cold weather, and the window finally opened to come home to central Alberta. Absolutely, it did. Yeah, we've got a few days ahead of us here of, you know, basically weather in the sort of mid 20s Celsius. So, yeah. Yeah, we'll take you know, it. Actually, yeah. even I think it was 32 in, down in Sundry. Yeah, so, a couple days. Yeah, yeah a couple days <laughs> from now, it's gonna, gonna be a be cooker in the right? '90s. So that's that's the kick, and we knew it was either gonna, you know, maybe the stonefly is gonna get going. It doesn't. No, we haven't seen a shock in the rocky Riffley sections at the bridges that we checked out. Yeah, but caddis, hey. Oh, the caddis. Yeah, I mean, the moment we got to the river, we're going, wow, the yeah. caddis are yeah, on. Exactly. I mean, they were just, you know, hovering, but actually enough on the water that was actually bringing some fish up to the surface. But only in the shaded bits behind yeah. the spruce trees. And right now we're sitting here. Uh, you know we're we're at the end of the day right now we're not at the end of the day what happened was we we got here going late and we got down to the creek and i was like "Ooh, look at those fish and well it kind of went from there until uh, i don't know about four or five hours into our day and there's a fella that had walked downstream almost to our van where we parked and decided he was going to fish from there and it, yeah go for it you know it's just that but that's the end of that yeah section of our day so exactly. we, we said were, you know what nah we'll, but, we'll, we'll, we'll double back yeah so we just went further downstream of where we started our day and just picked off another what hundred or so yards downstream of where we started and we're still looking we're just hopeful for potentially another rise but we'll see hey it's, it's kind mean, of it's those things that always catch up to you you know you have an afternoon where it's pop 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 of, of brownies taking caddis so here we are we're just going to wait out the sun and see if we can get an evening caddis event too you know what my money's on? <laughs> Not likely. <laughs> We're going to enjoy a sunset. <laughs>